Checkers, what are we gonna draw today? The American flag. <laughs> The 4th of July is coming up, and so we thought it would be a lot of fun to draw the American flag. Yes. Now the first part of this lesson, we're just gonna show you how to draw a flag waving in the wind. But the second part, we're gonna show you how to add the details of the American flag. If you wanna draw a different flag though, you can use your own creativity to add those details after we show you the first part. Okay, you ready to start? Yeah! For this lesson, you need paper, a black marker, we're also gonna use a pencil, and you need an eraser, and then also we're gonna use oil pastels, red and blue, to color our the American flag. We're gonna use the pencil to draw the stars, so we can put that off to the side, we're gonna use our marker first. We're gonna first start by drawing the left part of our flag, okay. so we're just gonna draw a line that comes down, and we're gonna fill up the whole paper. It's gonna be awesome. Okay, next we're gonna add the wave down at the bottom. So we're gonna first draw the flag coming up, waving back like this, and then we're gonna curl back around. We're gonna add another wave. Cool. And then we're gonna just come out like this for the end. Okay, now let's draw the top. We're gonna first draw this curve and we're gonna end it right here, but we're gonna draw it up here. So we're gonna, we want to match that curve up at the top. Cool, and then we're gonna add a line that comes down and it connects to the edge of our flag down at the bottom. Now we're gonna draw the next wave. So we're gonna take this curve down at the bottom and we're gonna match it up here at the top. But see how there's a gap between here and here. There's yes. a distance. So we're gonna try and match that same distance and that's where we're gonna start our next curve. So we're gonna come up and make that S curve. Cool, now we're gonna draw the edge. Oh, it's looking awesome, huh? Yes. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do that same step for the last part. So see this gap right here? So from here to the bottom edge, we're gonna match that same gap up here, and we're gonna draw this curve. So it's just going up. Nice, now we're gonna draw the edge. So we're gonna connect this line, the top line to the bottom line. We did it! There's two more lines though. Can you figure out where those lines need to go? Mm. No! <laughs> right down here at the bottom. So we want to add oh. this line, so this edge, and then we're going to add one more over here on this wrinkle. Oh, okay. Cool! Now we finished it. That's how you draw a really simple flag blowing in the wind. Yes. Now we're going to add the American flag details, but you guys at home can pause the video, stop the video, and draw your own flag. If you're in a different country, you could draw that, that flag, or you could draw any other flag you want. Yeah. Okay, so you ready? Yes. Okay, so how many stripes does the American flag have? 13. 13, good job. Oh, I just guessed. I'm just <laughs> And then there's also a blue field up here in the top left corner. Yeah. So we could divide our flag into 13 equal spaces for the stripes and use a ruler. Yeah. But we're gonna just use our eye and guess. Okay. So we're gonna come down here and we're gonna, we're gonna try to find a guess where the middle is. So I'm not gonna put a point well, I'm gonna come just below middle, and then I'll put a point. So if I think the middle is right about here, I'll put a little dot right below half. Okay, so now we're going to draw this first line that's gonna go through the whole flag. It's okay. gonna be the bottom of the blue square rectangle, and it's gonna be the, the first line for our first stripe. So we're gonna draw, we want to draw a curve that matches this bottom edge. So I'm gonna go up and then curve down. Cool. Now we're gonna drop down the same amount that we did for up here. So we're gonna come down and we're gonna draw that first, or that next curve, exactly the same way that we drew this top one. Cool. Now we're gonna do the same thing. Drop down a little space and then draw another line that matches that top line. Okay, we divided our flag kind of into half, almost in half, and we're first gonna, let's draw the blue square or rectangle. Okay. So I'm gonna draw a line that matches this edge. 
Okay, let's draw our middle stripe first. So we're gonna leave a little space, we're gonna come up and we're gonna draw a curve that matches that middle curve. Okay, now on this next line, I drew this line a little high, so I'm gonna draw the stripe, this line below it, but yours is low, so draw, draw your next stripe above it. Good. Okay, now that's our first stripe. So that means we have six more stripes above it and six more stripes below it. Yeah. Okay? So we're going to divide this top part into half first. So we'll put a little, a little dot in half. To split it in half, we're going to do a little dot in half over here. Okay, now we're going to divide the top and the bottom section into uh, three equal spaces. So I'm just gonna guess, and I'm gonna put little dots in here, and we should have five dots. And I'm gonna do the same over here. Divide this into six equal spaces, and you should have five dots. Okay, so now let's make those stripes. So we wanna draw the same curve that we drew before. Just match it, and we're gonna go all the way up and finish putting these stripes in on this section. Now, our art friends at home, what can they do if we're going too fast? Pause the video. Yeah, you guys can pause the video. Whoa, that one got big. <laughs> and then when you're drawing the stripes over to this edge, you can also try to equally space them out. All right, should we draw these over here? Yeah. Okay, so we want to. We can start down at the bottom and draw that same curve five more times. Good job, dude, that looks awesome. Now we need to divide the, the equal spaces up on the bottom section. So let's divide it in half again. So put a little dot in the middle. I'm gonna put a little dot in the middle everywhere. So a little dot here and a little dot here. Maybe that'll help, okay? And I'm just gonna divide the edges up, but if you want to, you can add more spaces here. I'm just gonna do it on the edges. So we're gonna do two more dots to equally space out five lines. And then we'll do it over here on this side. Cool. Good job. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to also add those dots here so I have a place to start in the middle section. Cool. Okay, now let's go ahead and add those. I'm going to start up here on this top one so I can match that line. And then we'll go down and add them all in. Okay, now let's draw the ones in the middle. So we'll match that top line, and it's kind of an S line. So try and match it all the way across. Good, and then we need to add the stripes on this last section. We did it! Okay, now we need to draw the stars. So let's okay. switch to our pencil. We could draw 50 stars if we wanted to and take the time to yeah. measure them out and draw each row. But because it's blowing in the wind and we kind of want to do it a little faster, mm -hmm. we're just going to try to make it look like 50 stars. Okay. And we're going to use our pencil first because we're going to draw the star like how we usually do. And I'm going to draw it pretty big. So we're just going to go around and make that star shape. And I'm going to go through and make all of the stars with the pencil. And then we're going to go back over that and I'll show you with the Sharpie how we can make them look really cool. Now that we got the stars all drawn on there with our pencils, we're going to switch back to our Sharpie. And we're just going to outline the outside of the star. Sure. Is that cool? Yeah. That's a fun way to draw a star without having the lines in the middle, and then it will be white when we're done coloring it. I think I have more stars than 50, but I'm not going to count them. We can take our eraser now, and we can erase the pencils, the pencil marks, off of our stars. Okay, the very last step is we're going to take our Sharpie and we're going to add the stripes 
on the back side of our flag. So we want to make sure that we kind of space it out the same as we did on the front. So I added two here and I'm going to add probably just one on this side. Cool. Now we need to color it, don't we? Yes. All right, let's get our oil pastels. We have our red and we have our blue and the first stripe. So this first stripe that we made is going to be red. Okay, so I got a little mixed up and I accidentally colored this stripe and then I came down, I was like, no, it's this one. And no, it's actually this one. <laughs> so this is the middle one right here. And the way that you can, you can check is that this top one should be red and the bottom one should be red. So then we're gonna skip, right? So we're gonna skip down, this one's gonna be red, this one will be red, the middle one, this one, and this one. Does that help? Yeah. So we're also going to, let's go ahead and we can mark the ones. So we're going to mark these. So it's always the bottom one and the top one. And then you come in every other one. And then we're going to do the same over here. That's going to be the bottom one. Skip one, skip one, and there we go. Okay, you ready to fast forward? Yeah. All right, let's do it right, right now. now. Okay, now we're gonna take our blue and we're gonna color in the rectangle in the top left. Chuckers, man, good job. Give me five. You did awesome on coloring. That, the blue part was, took a lot of concentration, yeah. didn't it? Going around each of those stars, I think it was actually kind of relaxing. Yeah. <laughs> now you guys can pause the video to try and match what we did. Now, the important thing to remember, if you have 13 stripes, the bottom and the top stripe will be red. And that's kind of the easiest way to figure out which stripe you should do red and which one you should leave white. We hope you guys had a lot of fun drawing your American flags with us, and we hope you guys have an amazing 4th of July. Yes. And remember to not blow anything up with fireworks. Yeah. See you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>